Well, we all have sentences that you never thought you'd say. Things like, I'll have the vegetarian lasagna. <laughs> or, it was my fault. <laughs> or, not tonight. <laughs> well, here's another one. Harold's having girl problems. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Harold's got this girlfriend, Bonnie. And you know Harold, he always goes overboard with everything. And, and if he goes overboard with Bonnie, I just want to make sure he's wearing a life jacket. <laughs> Beautiful day. Uh -huh. You and Bonnie have been necking, Harold? I do not kiss and tell. Your face does. <laughs> yeah. You two should leave your glasses on when you're smooching. You could lose an eye. Bonnie kisses way better than any other woman. How many women have you kissed? <laughs> My mom. Yeah. See, that's, that's what bothers me, Harold. You don't have enough experience with women. It bothers me too, believe me. Well, see, it's because you're focused too much on Bonnie. You know, you should be dating other girls. <laughs> that sounds crazy to me. You should be dating other girls? You never heard that before? Yeah, but only from other girls I've asked out. No, no, see, Harold, if you spend too much time too soon with Bonnie, well, something could happen. You know what I'm talking about? Every time I'm with her, I do get a big hint. Okay, okay. All right. See, that means you agree with me. You guys should just kind of cool it for a little while, eh? Now, you want to tell her or you want me to tell her? Oh, no, 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 not you, not you. No, I'll tell her, I'll tell her, I can tell her. I'll just All simply right. say, Bonnie. I'll tell her. No, I'll tell her, I can tell her, I can tell her. It's not that big, I All can right. tell. All right. What am I telling her? Oh. <laughs> Okay, it's been four hours since Harold went over to tell Bonnie that they're seeing too much of each other. By this point, they're probably seeing all of each other. <laughs> Boy, there's a scary visual. Come right in, come right in, come right in. <laughs> it come right in? Come on, you, because I do things like that for you. I don't mind. I don't mind. You, might, you might want to cut back on the sugar intake. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Christine. Yeah, hello, Bonnie. Harold and I had a little talk. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. And Harold said that you have something you wanted to tell me. <laughs> Let's say I want to buy a car. And the only dealership in the area is a Yugo dealership. That means I'm going to end up with a Yugo, right? I love Yugo. Me too, I love no, Yugo. No, 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 I love, no, no. We are. That's not the point. That's not the point, though. No, no, no. You've no. got to make an informed decision, which means you've got to look at all your options. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I love you goes. <laughs> no, Bonnie, Bonnie, what I, yeah, I, yeah. I think my uncle's trying to help us avoid making a mistake. You know? yeah. He's saying that maybe we should just uh, stop seeing each other for a little while, just a little while, see, you know, see how it works out, see if we really care about each other. That's it, exactly. Oh. <laughs> Well, if you say so, Harold. I mean, we could try it. You know, and, you know, mm -hmm. we could stop seeing each other for, say, like... Um, An hour. A day. A month. A week. A week, all right. Because we don't want to get together just out of convenience. Mm, I guess not. No, because that's what my Aunt Bernice did, and... <laughs> okay, we're into the fourth day of Bonnie withdrawal. <laughs> It's going okay. I mean, it's a one day at a time thing. What's going okay? It's not easy, believe me. Okay, Uncle Rick, come on. Come on, we gotta go. Gotta go. You said you're gonna take me to the Botanical Gardens, right? So we can see the Pacinthia in bloom. Then we have to go down to the electronics store because I want to get a new MP3 player, right? It's not easy, believe me. And of course, you have to go to the library. We have to hurry because that closes at 8 o'clock. We're not going to the library, Harold. That's all the way up in Port Asbestos. No, oh, no, we'll go to the library in Possum Lake. We have a library? Where's that? Right next to the liquor store. No kidding. <laughs> oh, Harold, what? what's wrong? I'm not supposed to see you, Bonnie. <laughs> what's going on? It's only four days. I got a message from Pookie. He said it was an emergency. Oh, I thought you were sick. Your voice sounded all scratchy. No. <laughs> Well, I don't know what that's all about, but since you're here anyway, you two might as well get back together. <gasps> I can't. I, I gotta go.
go to the meeting. No, 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 Harold. You go with Bonnie. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Harold. <laughs> Okay, if my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting, and I hope I'll find you in an affectionate mood. Because it's an emergency. Oh. <laughs> For the rest of you, thanks for watching. Pat, myself, and Pookie, and the whole gang of here Boss Nine. Keep your stick on the ice. Oh, we're ready to go here. Coming! Man, I gave up waiting for Harold there. He's been in the shower for seven hours. <laughs> we had to need a second bathroom or a closer tree. <laughs> so I said, the heck with it. And I went up in the possum van and picked up Bonnie on my own. So as soon as Harold's ready, we're good to go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, I'm all set. Yep. Should we go pick up Bonnie? I've already done that, Harold, and I can certainly see what you like about her, so she's out there waiting in the possum van right now. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How rude is that? Well... We have something we'd like to ask you together. All right, fine. Oh, Bonnie! Sweetheart! <laughs> can you come in here a minute, please? You have no idea how to treat a lady, do you? This is a mistake, Harold. <laughs> so, uh, how do we look? Like a perfect couple. <laughs> You're going to save a fortune on mirrors, Harold. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. No, I, no, I, no, I. Just had your first coffee? <laughs> no. This is my first date. <laughs> um, Bonnie, uh, this is for you. Oh, Harold, it's beautiful. You pin it on me. <laughs> You would like to do it for yourself. Okay, please. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're good to go. And uh, what time do you want me to pick you guys up? I usually am asleep by 10, eh? So. Mm -hmm. Mr. Green! Yeah. Uh, Rod and I were wondering if maybe we could drive ourselves. I've got my license. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I mean, the Possum van is a pretty big rig, you know. Oh, oh Uncle Red, Bonnie is a licensed commercial truck driver. Yeah. <laughs> She drives an 18-wheeler for, for Port Asbestos Cartage. Well, hey, great, hey, go for it. Don't even go. Okay. I just want to hold on. I almost stopped your spirit here. You get it. Okay, I, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, you'll have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, huh? is watching. I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. Harold has a girlfriend. I don't know how serious they are, but if they ever get married and have kids, it's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> for the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Loverboy and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, keep your stick on the ice.